H and her team are tracking any celebrity that endorsed JD's win. Why? Because they want to wreck them. They're hoping that they can shut that down. And by endorsement, I mean liking posts with more overt celebrations like posting heart emojis in the comments, for example, or maybe not liking and leaving comments on the direct posts, but interacting with other posts celebrating the same thing and leaving likes and comments on those. Even Jason Momoa, who's tried to play both sides of this, liking both JD and AH's posts, is not immune to this. Why? Because Team AH, they want to destroy anyone that stands up, whether that person was in the courtroom like Kate Moss, whether that person is liking statements, or whether that person tried to walk away from them six long years ago. No one, and I do mean no one, is immune. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. Forgive me for the raspiness in my voice too. That is the weather that will go away in a couple of days. But the post that we're talking about is one that JD he put up on Instagram June 1st 2022 this is the one that AH everyone around her that includes the media and on is obsessed with they'll try to wreck anyone that associates with it why because this is when JD wins and there are 19 million people that have liked this and counting and they can't abide that so of course they've got to ruin people Now, you and I, we're going to read that post in just a second. But before we do, look at some of the names that are being targeted. This is not a comprehensive list by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just throwing some people out here in front of you. They're targeting Emma Roberts. They're targeting Jennifer Aniston. I mean, look at all the females there because you know... Listen in, believe, make up your own mind as a strong, independent woman, unless you deviate from their status quo, then uh uh-uh, can't abide you at all. We also, we have people like Henry Golding, Joey King, you notice even Jason Momoa, again, the guy who is playing both sides of this. He liked JD's post, but he also liked her post. He ends up on the list as well. And what is absolutely astounding to me is that AH and her team, they're calling this stuff clout chasing. That's right, clout chasing. Remember when they threw that title at Kate Moss? Now they're throwing it again. People like Emma Roberts, the Olsen twins. I mean, really, those folks, they need clout from AH. I mean, that statement there, that is absolutely unfreaking real Now, we'll talk about some more names in just a second, too. But before that, I want to read this statement to you. Why? Because I feel remiss in not showing you what they want to shut down. And you have to hand it to these people. I mean, they are definitely dedicated. I mean, imagine going through 19.16 million likes looking for that Hollywood gotcha. But listen to this. And if you have heard it before, I mean, really envision what they're trying to shut down here. So six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed, all in the blink of an eye. False, very serious, and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond, and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. My decision to pursue this case, knowing very well the height of the legal hurdles that I would be facing and the inevitable worldwide spectacle into my life, was only made after considerable thought. From the very beginning, the goal of bringing this was to reveal the truth regardless of the outcome. Speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and all those that have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing I have finally accomplished that. Some of the names that they feel comfortable going after full throttle and trying to silence, I mean, this stuff, it is beyond crazy. Look here, Naomi Campbell. 
I mean, they decided they were going to try to shut down Naomi Campbell because God forbid. I mean, look what they did here. They responded to that post. They didn't like it. Oh, no. They went a little bit further than what we were talking about. They decided to put up heart emojis as well. They also note Pretty Little Liars alum. Ashley Benson. So they put what they work with there, just in case you don't know who they are. And the DJ Z, they're all people that responded in this way. And what's crazy in this is they didn't just stop tracking this post itself. They were tracking other posts as well. So any positive post associated with JD that might have a celebrity endorse. Oh, you got to track that. You got to make sure you catch people and listen to this here. I mean, this is so telling about that mindset. Some stars opted not to quote unquote like JD's post, but did lend a little red heart to a separate post for Greg Williams photography, a portrait photo of JD, which includes the caption, hashtag, you can't keep a good man down. So Florence Pugh, Dakota Fanning, and her younger sister, the great star Elle Fanning. So they decided they were going to go after L Fanning. They decided they were going to go after Dakota Fanning. And again, they had to track a separate posting, all because they wanted to put a tiny red heart of endorsement there for someone that says that they are a survivor of DV. I mean, what a crazy world that we are living in right now. And along with this, they listed some of the people that they called the stalwarts. You know, the people that stood with JD throughout all of this. You notice they didn't list everyone either, not by a long shot. Why? Because when they put these names up, they wanted to make it seem like the support, it was few and far between, when in reality, many people that have had something to lose, they've stood up. They've said their truth about this. They know the man. He is not that type of monster. These names alone here, Kate Moss, she risked everything to go into that courtroom to say that that woman is lying about what happened. This, it sets the record straight. Paul Bettany, he was hijacked in the middle of a discussion about a new movie and talking about vision. He was hijacked and told, basically, you need to denounce JD or else. And you know what he said? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Winona Ryder, too. Oh, she could have turned it any time. They wanted to make her, too. They wanted to break her. But she always stood steadfast because she said that J.D. was a good man. You have all of these people. You have all of those people that I listed before. Many of them I didn't go over. There are so many others out there, too. Yeah, they're this desperate. They want to target Hollywood. And the reality is they want to do this because Hollywood, it has nothing left for her. It's taking a minute for people to figure that out. But yeah, nobody wants to stand with that person because they know exactly what they are behind the scenes. But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. You want to help out the channel? There are links in the description. Definitely check those out. But you being here, that matters most of all. So thank you. Appreciate you ending here. See you soon.